The United Kingdom is in the process of acquiring 50 of the latest R64S as part of a plan that calls for the final retirement of the legacy British Army WAH-64D Apaches, also known as Apache R1s in UK service, in 2024. The British Army Apache R1s have seen considerable combat experience, beginning with a first deployment to Camp Bastion, Helmand Province, Afghanistan, in 2006. Among the most dramatic missions flown in Afghanistan was an attempted combat rescue in January 2007, when Royal Marines strapped themselves to the outside of an Apache. Although they were only able to recover the body of their fallen comrade, Lance Corporal Ford, it was a powerful demonstration of the Apache's versatility under fire. The last British Apache unit to deploy to Afghanistan flew top cover for the final withdrawal of British troops from Camp Bastion in October 2014. In the meantime, the British Army Apaches also went to war in Libya in 2011, as part of the NATO-led coalition. In May 2017, the United Kingdom placed a $488.1 million foreign military sales order with Boeing, a modification of an existing deal, to remanufacture 38 Apache R1s to AH-64E standard as part of a wider lot 711 production run, as well as to procure three longbow crew trainers and associated spares. This work was scheduled to be completed at the Boeing plant in Mesa, Arizona, by May 31, 2024. Although there were rumors they might be dropped as a cost-saving measure, the remaining final 12 R64S for the United Kingdom were eventually covered by a separate $565.5 million contract issued in December 2019, another modification of an existing FMS award, which included the rework of a total of 47 aircraft, including others for the Netherlands and the United Arab Emirates. The estimated completion date for this work is March 1, 2025. By mid-2019, 16 Apache R1s had been delivered to Mesa for the AH-64E remanufacture program and the first British E-model was flown from Mesa, Arizona, to the US Army facility at Redstone Army Airfield, Alabama, to begin testing, last summer. The British Army R64S will be in the version 6 configuration, which the service describes as the most advanced variant of Apache, and is one that the Warzone has examined in detail in the past. Compared to the British Army's WA 64Ds, meanwhile, the basic AH-64E already offered significant benefits, including both performance and avionics advantages over the D model, of which the 67th and final example was handed over to the British Army in 2004. Under a rolling program of updates, the E model already offered Link 16 data links, Mode 5 identification friend or foe, new communication and communication relay systems, and the ability to operate as a manned-unmanned team with drones. It's unclear exactly what degree of interaction with drones the British Army AH-64E will be capable of, initially at least, with an official press release stating only that, Link 16, Mode 5 identification friend or foe and, in time, manned-unmanned teaming, will, bring theater entry standard equipment fits and vastly increase crew battle space awareness. The ability to carry external fuel tanks to extend the helicopter's range was introduced in the AH-64E too, but it's notable that this is something that the British Army had already added to its WAR 64Ds as a unique local modification. The addition of 125-gallon external tanks carried on the inboard store's pylons increased the gunship's endurance by around 90 minutes. Despite the advances inherent in the AH-64E, all of which have been allocated new British military serial numbers, there remains some commonality between the WAH-64D and the new British Army AH-64E.